Hey, Roger. <coughs> you got a sec? Yes, of course. Uh, come on in. Roger, meet Bryn Tomlinson. Hi there. Nice to meet you. I was just telling Bryn how long you've been working here. She couldn't believe it. Tell him what you said. I said that when you started working here, I was four years old. <laughs> Isn't that great? When I told her, I was only two. <laughs> <laughs> two. That's, uh, that's, that's very funny. Listen, Roger, uh, I've hired Bryn to work with you on a new sales strategy. I don't want you to worry. She's not after your job or anything. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Roger. What'd you do to your hand? Are those teeth marks? Uh, no. No. Just, uh, just scraped it. It's nothing. You were saying? Right. Look, you know how awesome I think it is having someone your age here at the station? Mm -hmm. Experience is cool. But I gotta tell you, the sales department needs a kick in the ass. And I think that's what Bryn can deliver. She's never worked in radio before, so she I'm sorry. I can't do this. What's wrong? He keeps staring at my breasts, and it's making me really uncomfortable. Oh, come on. Roger was? <laughs> Roger? Were you? You know, I, uh... I, I've got to go. <sighs> What's happening to me? Normal frequencies are rattling my mind. There's no mistake in the thing is shaking me up inside. It's a to feel a bit peculiar. must be Isabel, eldest child. You're 16, is that right? Yeah. Who are you? Uh, Mr. Treehorn, I spoke with your mother about the encounter you and your family had. Encounter? She told you to come here? Well, actually, I've taken it upon myself to verify your report. Right now, I'm just scanning for extraterrestrial residue. Extraterrestrial? What, you mean like aliens? Yes, that's right. <laughs> Is this guy for real? I've never seen him before in my life. I have no idea what he's talking about, okay? I think you should leave now. Obviously, I've uh, spoken out of turn. I apologize. But you do need to have a conversation with your mother, because I believe her report has a high degree of validity. Yeah, okay, whatever. Can you get off our property? Could I just get a photo of you for my records? I'm going to start screaming. <laughs> ah. In the AM, so you better tune in. You know what your dial needs to be sent to. Sports is up next on... Sarah! Do you know where your mother is? I'm just looking for your mother. It's important. She's not here, is she? No. Uh, no, I know. Hi, Nina. Hi, Mr. Bungo. Where is she, Belle? Do you know? I have no idea. Now, please, leave. Okay. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Uh, just what exactly did I interrupt? Nothing. Just go. Why don't you just tell him? Tell me what? Bell? Nina was just teaching me how to kiss. Oh. Okay.
Is, is there a boy at school that you're interested in? No. Well, are there any showing any interest in you? Dad, I'm just curious about them, okay? Is that a crime? No. No, of course not. It's, it's okay to be curious from a, a safe distance. Wait, Dad. Uh-huh? You're not going to tell Mom about this, are you? Uh, not if you don't want me to. Don't. Okay, then. So are you? What? Curious about boys? That is a problem, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it's a big problem. No, wait, wait. What you said about this being so unlike me. I don't care. Roger, I've been thinking about this all day. You were right. I was just being paranoid. I don't care why you've changed. You just have, and I love it. But Sarah. Oh, shh. Please don't spoil it, okay? Excuse me, Mrs. Blundell. Oh, shit. Uh, hi, Mrs. Trehorn. How are you doing? If I could just speak to you for a minute. You know, um, it's really not a good time for me, okay? I've been looking into your alien encounter report. You know what? Um, just forget about my report. I, I should never have called. I'm, I'm really sorry. I think you should listen to what I have to say. I'm sorry, Mr. Trehorn. I'm really not interested anymore. Do you know what, sir? I think we should listen to what Mr. Hornblower's got to say. No, Roger, don't you see? Don't you see what he's doing? He's just got you all intrigued now, and then he's going to get us all worked up about something we'll never but... be able to explain. No, what happened that day happened. It's in the past. Let's just forget about it and move on. But, Sarah, I... No. Look, Mr. Treehorn, thank you very much for your concern, but everything's fine now, okay? Just, I think he made it up. Just forget about him. It's not just you. Oh. It's every woman I see at work today, Sarah. It was awful. I couldn't stop thinking about having sex with them. What? It's different with you. I mean, I want you more than them. As soon as I see you, it's, it's overwhelming. It's, it's like all of a sudden I am possessed. And you think it's... I don't know. I mean, first George turns into a sex maniac, and now that's all I can think about. I don't know what to think anymore. That's just great. You finally start taking an interest in me again, and it's because you're possessed by aliens. Doesn't change the fact that I want you more than any woman on the planet. Just a planet? Mm. <sighs> Cameron? Isabel. What if this is happening to them? Get it. Isabel, is everything all right? Yeah. You and Nina got into a fight? Don't worry about it. Sweetheart, we need to ask you something. What? Are you having any uh, sense that there's something different about you lately? Different? Yeah, you know, like, um, maybe you're having desires. Sexually speaking, desires that uh, maybe seem foreign. If that's true, we really need to know. 
Thanks a lot, Dad. What's her problem? Hi, Cam. Uh, how was school? Fruitless. He seems fine. You have to talk to him. How can, I, how can I talk to him about this when I haven't had the talk with him? You haven't had the talk with him. I keep meaning to. I think it's none of my business to ask you such personal questions. But you're just gonna have to trust me when I say that in this case, we need to know what's going on with you. Can't this wait? No, I'm sorry, it can't. I'm really not ready to talk about it, Mom. Look, I know it's difficult, dear, so just, just tell me if it's true or not. Are you having any strange sexual desires? It's an interesting way of putting it. Are you? What if I am? First of all, you have nothing to be embarrassed about. This is not your fault. You just, you didn't have any choice in the matter. You really believe that? Yes, of course I do. Look, you might as well know that your father's going through the same thing. What? Yeah. You probably already figured out about Granddad. It's the aliens, dear. I didn't want to tell you until I was sure they had taken you. They did take you, didn't they? Yes. Yes, they did. Oh, my baby. We are going to get through this, okay? Okay. Okay. Oh. oh. Hey, sport. How you doing? Sport? Uh, yeah. What's wrong with sport? I don't know. If I've done something wrong, you call me Cameron. If you've done something wrong, you call me Buddy. So I'm just trying to figure out what sport means. <laughs> I, I just wanted to know how you were doing. You feeling okay? Yeah. Because you're uh, 13 now. 14. Uh, you're, uh, <clears throat> you're 14 now, and uh, that means you're going to start experiencing some changes in your body. Oh. This is the talk. Uh, yeah. So, um, how's it going in that department? Are you, are you feeling okay? Are you <clears throat> feeling any uh, urges lately? Because it's, it's all right to feel them. Um, it's, it's normal to feel them, absolutely normal. I just think that we should discuss uh, how strong they are because it's, uh, it's not so great if you're obsessed with sex and uh, that's all you can think about is just having, having s sex. Dad? Dad. Yeah. Are you all right? Yes. Yes, I'm fine. Don't worry. I'm not obsessed. Well, that's, that's good to hear. All right, then. 
Well, I, I, I'm glad we had this little talk. If you have any other questions, uh, don't be afraid to ask. Dad? Mm-hmm. Shouldn't I have hair by now? Hair? You know, body hair. Well, not necessarily. Why do you ask? Well, it's just that a lot of the guys in my gym class have armpit hair, and I don't have any. And a lot of them are younger than I am. Oh, don't worry. I don't think I had any until I was 15. 15? Or uh, maybe not. Maybe I was uh, a little younger, but uh, <clears throat> not too much. Before you know it, you're going to have that stuff growing everywhere. I mean everywhere. Okay. Thanks, Dad. No problem. <clears throat> Do you still have wet dreams? Um. What happened? He was at the Cedar Hill Mall. Minding my own business. Outside a lingerie shop. Well, people aren't allowed to window shop anymore. He was making some of the customers uncomfortable, so we thought we'd bring him home. You were aware he was gone from the house. Of yes. Course. We were, uh, we were getting really worried. Very worried. Thank you so much for bringing him back. No problem. Good afternoon. Bye. Cam's okay. Uh, what about Isabel? Abducted. What are we gonna do? Well, first of all, we have to stay calm. And then we have to figure out a way to keep this thing under control. Maybe, maybe it's temporary, like a, like a drug, and the effects will gradually wear off. You need to have sex, don't you? All right, come on. All right. Thank you. But if it happens again... It won't. I understand. It, it won't. I mean even a peak. Absolutely. Bryn, are you okay with this? Yeah, I think so. Everyone deserves a second chance. That's the spirit. Besides, I'm not quite ready to take his job yet. <laughs> I should get ready for our strategy meeting. That was uh, 1 o'clock, right, Roger? <clears throat> right. One o'clock. Wow. It is really hot in here today. Wow. Hot is right. Hello? Sarah? She's coming to my office at 1 o'clock, and she hates me, and she's going to get me fired, and then I'll be branded as a pervert. I'll never get another job, and no one will ever talk to us again. Roger, just, just calm down, okay? You're going to get through this. Just, no. just concentrate. No, no, it won't be enough. You have to come down here. <laughs> Look, I can't be down there when you meet with her. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll tell her that you're, uh, that you're writing an article for a, a magazine. Look, uh, Roger, just... Use the mental imagery we talked about, okay? She's after my job, Sarah. You should have seen the way she paraded around in that skimpy top of hers. She did what? She took off her coat right in front of me and paraded around in this, in this thing. It was, it was silky and, and slinky and... I'll be there in 20 minutes. Oh, my God, I'm... Ah, Mrs. Blundell, I'm glad you're here. Do you know this clown? I don't appreciate you taking photographs of my family. But the residue on your father has the same pattern as the residue I found on your house. What is he talking about? Dad, why don't you go back inside? Why don't you go back inside? I'm going for a walk. Uh, Dad, just um, try and stay away from the lingerie stores, OK? Ah. There's no question in my mind. Your father is an abductee. I believe they took him first because he's the oldest male in the family, the patriarch. They assumed he was in charge. They, 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 they'll probably take your husband next. They already have. 
When? when? We, we need to talk about this. I don't have time right now. But... Um, <sighs> my camera. Ah, uh, just a minute. Hi, friend. Should I come back later? Uh, no. No, uh, this is my, my wife, Sarah. Hi. Oh, just told me so much about you. He has. Mm -hmm. I'll, um, I'll see you at home. Okay? Yes. Okay? Yes. Nice to meet you, Bree. You too. Come on in, Brent. So, where do you want to begin? Um, I was thinking that, uh, I, I don't know. Where do you think we should start? Well, why don't you tell me what you know about our primary demographic? Okay, sure. Um, well, we've been reaching the 35 to 50 year old age group predominantly men, mostly middle-income earners. Of course, with the format change, we're now aiming at the more coveted 18 to 34-year-old demographic. So I think that we should make it our main goal to try and work and convince them to keep vested interest in continuing to advertise with us, not only because we're going to be Keep a secret? It's a closed circuit monitoring system. For security. Well, how do the kids feel about this? What did you tell Dad? Roger, you haven't told shh, them? Shh, shh. 